Good morning, PCT. Okay, so it's a little cool morning, but it's going to be a very nice day today. We're still at the lake, Lake Sally Ann, and we're still about 28 miles out of Leavenworth. We came up about four miles short yesterday on purpose. Um, two of us are here and two of us are ahead. So, so we've got up a bit early. It's not even, it's around five o'clock right now. And uh, we're gonna try and catch up with the other two so that we can do our 17, which I mean, that's a 21 mile day for us today. I don't know if I can do it, I'll try my hardest, but either way, we're in Leavenworth tomorrow and that's the main thing. So let's go get it. Let's have some views, let's have some fun. And uh, I'll give you one quick shot of the lake before we leave. So this is Lake Sally Ann, and this is how it looks in the morning. Isn't this great? We have Prospector over here, he's just getting ready. We're gonna head out soon. And uh, try some crush some miles today. Sometimes the morning views <clears throat> are the best. They call it the golden hour. Look at how the clouds just float along the treetops. Just took a bad fall and uh, I'll be okay, but I, I broke the lens on my camera, so I'm gonna have to video with my phone and my other camera for the time being till I can get that one repaired. Uh, or maybe I'll just send that one home, repair it later, and pick up a new one if there's one around. I'll check when I get in town. But anyways. Okay, I was wrong. It's a five-mile climb. <laughs> I just thought I'd throw that in there. Okay, I just talked to Manhattan. She said the guys are up ahead. Uh, they're pushing for another 20. Uh, and we were already, what, four and a half behind them. So she's like, are you okay with 24.5? And I said, no, I don't think so. I don't think that would work for me, but we'll see. I'll give it a try. I'll get as far as I can. I don't know why they're doing that personally, because either way they're getting in tomorrow into town. So I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, uh, up at the top of this mountain, I'm supposed to start getting coverage so I can at least talk to them, find out what's going on. Okay, so I'm taking a little break. It's uh, 9.30 and uh, I have at this present time about eight and a half, nine miles in. So I didn't quite make the nine at nine challenge. If I really pushed right now, I could probably do 10 by 10, but because I'm pretty close to it, but I'm just not in the mood. Uh, I have to pace myself. I'm trying to go the distance here. I'm trying to absolutely go the distance. So, uh, it's a beautiful day. Sorry I haven't got you a lot of views yet, but um, hopefully that'll change. It's just been winding through the woods, you know, so. But that's okay. Um, I haven't got cell coverage yet. Um, the fall, my knee is really hurting, my left knee. I fell this morning and uh, my right wrist is bugging me and my left forefinger. So I don't think I'm gonna be playing guitar anytime soon, judging from the amount of pain I've got right now. But uh, you know, we all fall, that happens. It's just a, it's just a fact of life out here. It's gonna happen. So that's fine, I'll bounce back. I'm strong, I got this. <laughs> I'm hoping I got this. <laughs> I'm 
little treat coming up. <clears throat> it's called Pear Lake. And it's in like, I don't know, point two or something. Okay, so this is Pear Lake. Check it out, everyone. There was a point two blue blaze to get down here. I have to climb back up out. I think there should be access to the water somewhere here because I'd like to have something to eat if I could. Okay, break over. How far are we going? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I almost stayed there now, except that it's just too early in the day. So I'm going to go put a few more miles on and see where I wind up. One thing I have to be careful about, though, is water. I'm in a dry spell. I only have one liter on me. For me, that's good for seven miles. Uh, there should be some water. The far out says there's little trickles here and there. So let's go check it out. More meadows. That is known as Glacier Peak. The view from the top Grizzly Peak. Not much to look at, is it? Okay, now we've got about three and a half miles of puds going across the ridge and then a descent uh, and about six miles. <clears throat> Janice Lake, that's the next water source, believe it or not. I've really screwed myself today with the whole water situation, but it is what it is. Let's go get it. Okay, I think I'm gonna camp here tonight. Looks like as good a spot as any. There's supposed to be a few sites here. Maybe I can have a quick peek. Ooh, what's this? That's kind of nice too, isn't it? Not as sheltered. There's probably a couple over there. Jeez, I'm liking that one right there. Let's go ahead and see how level it is. Yeah, better over in this part. This is not bad. All right, we're home. Okay, I'm all settled in. Um, it's like 7.30, quarter to eight. I wanna get up at around 3.30, maybe four. Uh, so let's do a little recap, what I think of today. Three mountains to climb that I climbed. Uh, I'm exhausted. I I, um, I was out the door by 5 a.m. And like on the trail at 5 a.m. And I hiked till 6 at night. Um, I only did 16 miles, but they were very hard miles. This is a hard, tough, Washington is tough. This is really... I mean, this is as hard as anything on the AT or more. Um, so, I mean, I'm not making excuses. I'm just saying that I put in a good effort and I've really, really went at it. And now, aside from the hour, hour and a half that I took at the lake, um, you know, relaxing, which I, and I should do that. I mean, that's why I'm out here. It's a holiday. It's a vacation. It's a, it's a hike, right? It's a beautiful lake, crystal blue water, clear as can be. Yeah, you knew I was going in that water. So anyways, we ended up doing 16.5 miles. Um, that leaves me about 12, 12, yeah, 12 miles or something, 12.2 uh, coming into town. So if I'm out of the gate by six o'clock, I'll be happy. That 12.2, I got one big mountain to climb. Uh, that'll be an hour, an hour and a half, and then another uh, 10. So... 
a downhill. So that's three hours. So about four, five or six hours at the most with breaks and stuff. So I should be in town. I'm guessing because I have to hitch from Stevens Pass. Um, probably around two in the afternoon. So cool. 110 miles. Did it in seven days. Not bad. Not great. 16, 16 miles a day average. Not bad. I think that was okay for as tough as this track is. Anyways, if you're still around, you rock. We'll see you tomorrow, bright and early. It'll probably be dark. I hope this phone, because my camera's lens is destroyed. Well, I don't know if it's destroyed. I'm gonna see if I can get it fixed, but chances aren't looking really good right now. I just inspected it and yeah, it's not looking good. So that's something else I'm gonna do in town. I'm gonna grab another lens. So, good night, everyone.